antenatal and postnatal class, exercises and care for shoulder, neck, and back pains. Neck, shoulder, and back pain are common during pregnancy. The hormonal changes cause ligaments to become stretchy. The spinal joint, pelvic, and pubic joints become loose. This leads to neck, back, and pubic pain. As the fetus grows, mother's center of gravity shifts forward. This adds burden on the abdominal and back muscle. Regular physical activities, good body postures, and stretching exercises can relieve muscle pain. Good body postures prevent back pain. Here are ways to improve your postures. When standing, bear weight on both feet evenly. Relax shoulders and pull them slightly backwards. Keep back straight. Keep the head up straight. The earlobes are in line with shoulders to keep neutral neck position. Tighten the abdominal and pelvic floor muscles. If you need to stand for some time, shift the weight bearing of left and right from time to time. When sitting, adjust the seat height or use a foot rest so that both feet should rest on the floor and the knees are at a right angle. The back should be well supported by back of the chair. Use cushions or pillows for support if necessary. When working at a desk, adjust the height of the seat to keep the neck in neutral position. Avoid sitting in the same position for a long time. Change posture after a while. Gently tighten abdominals and pelvic floor muscles to support the back when you move. When standing up from sitting position, tighten abdominals and pelvic floor muscles. Place your hands on the thighs or armrest of the chair as support. Then lean the body forward to stand up. To get out of bed, keep legs together and bend the knees. Roll onto one side. Tighten abdominals and pelvic floor muscles. Push up the body with both hands and sit at bedside. Keep the feet shoulders width apart. Place the hands on thighs as support. Lean forward, then stand up. Avoid getting up like doing sit-ups. When lifting a heavy object, stand close to it. Bend the knees. Straighten the legs to lift. Remember to tighten the abdominals and keep the back straight when you lift. When carrying heavy objects, use both hands or use a cart. Ask for assistance if needed. Avoid supporting a child with abdomen. Use both sides of the waist as support if you need to hold the child. Here are some stretching exercises that can relieve shoulder, neck and back pain. Neck stretching exercises. To stretch the neck muscles, sit on chair with the back straight. Tuck in the chin. Pull the head slightly backwards. Hold for five seconds. Then relax. Repeat 10 times. Shoulder stretching exercise. Sit on a chair. Gently roll the shoulders upwards, then backwards and downwards. Upper limb stretching exercise. There are three sets of movements. You can do it in sitting or standing. Set one, keep back straight, interlace fingers with palms facing out. Then lift arms above the head till the upper back and arms are slightly stretched. Hold for five seconds, then relax. Repeat 10 times. Set two, both hands touch each other behind the back. 
interlace finger with thumbs pointing downwards. Then raise arms till the chest and arms are slightly stretched. Hold for five seconds, then relax. Repeat 10 times. Set three. Keep back straight. Interlace fingers with palms facing out. Straighten the arms and reach forward till the upper back are slightly stretched. Hold five seconds, then relax. Repeat 10 times. Lower back stretches. Stand with the back and buttocks against a wall. Keep the feet shoulders width apart. Breathe naturally. Tighten abdomen to press the lower back against the wall. Hold for five seconds and relax. Repeat 10 times. Pregnant women should stop the exercise if feeling unwell. You can use a fitness ball for stretching and strengthening the back and abdominal muscles. Exercise using fitness ball also helps reduce pain and stress during labor. With doctor's referral, expectant mothers can learn these exercises under physiotherapist guidance. The film is produced with the information and support from the physiotherapy departments of Hospital Authority. Produced by Family Health Service, Department of Health, 